Hey, welcome back. This is Mexicali Fish Keeper. Uh, today was supposed to be a video on how to make a rack for, for 20 gallon longs. <laughs> but when I started recording this, um, I had a little bit of an incident. I was recording outdoors and that day happened to be a little warm outside. And unbeknownst to me, uh, I only got about two minutes of that footage where I was going through the process of cutting the lumber when the camera shut off because it was too warm outside and my phone overheated. Uh, so this is not really a video on how to build the rack, but I'll still show you the rack that I did build and walk you through the steps of how to build it. It's really straightforward and easy. Um, and as a matter of fact, if you really want to get a real detailed um, explanation of how to do this, the, the fish nerd guy uh, has a video out there where he goes uh, the, uh, step by step on how to build these racks. It's, it's relatively straightforward. Um, again, this is only for, for 20 longs, so there's relatively not a whole lot of weight on top of this rack, so this will this will be sufficient. Uh, if it can, if if the way this is set up can hold can hold these aquariums up there, so this rack will definitely hold what I'm putting on there. So let me show you what I did, and I'll explain to you a little bit more detail what I got going on. Okay, here's the rack that I'm talking about, and it's a it's a three level rack. So I've got one, two, and one at the bottom. Um, the way I did this. Um, my legs on here are five feet long uh, and I've got four legs obviously and then the stretches here I made them 36 inches uh, I know these tanks are only 30 inches long but I decided to do that because if for some reason I happen to decide to change these out for 40 breeders the only thing I would have to modify is the distance for these stretchers um, being that those are 18 inches long, uh, I would have to make these a little bit longer. These are 13 inch stretchers, so they gave me about a quarter inch uh, of a ledge on each side uh, because these are 12 and a half inches wide. Uh, like I said, it's a very straightforward. Uh, as you can see, these, these cross beams are, are screwed into the top. So I've got screws there. And as you can see, the little cross brace I've got screws in here, and I really believe this is gonna be more than sufficient to be able to hold the weight of these three tanks on here. And I've got three different levels. The distance from here to here, I set them off at 24 inches, uh, which really gives me a good amount of space to be able to get in and out out of this aquarium without, you know, I, I don't like the restrictions. When I did these over here, the distance is a little bit shorter and I really do have a hard time getting in and out of doing maintenance out of there. And I didn't want that to repeat itself. So I gave myself a few extra inches more. Uh, so again, this is five feet long all the way to the floor. Uh, 24 inches from, from the top of here to here. And the same thing at the bottom. Fairly straightforward. 13 inch um, support uh, members. 36 inches is for the, for the stretches and five feet. Uh, I did all of this with, um, I bought two, um, four by, two by four by tens to be able to do my legs. And I, and I did um, three, uh, two by four by eights. Uh, and I was able to do most of these, but these, I had lumber that was left over from other work that I've done in here. So I just kind of cut them down to size and, and utilize that because even the, the what I was left with the excess of this wasn't long enough to be able to do those those uh, cross members there. So this is it. Uh, it's for three three aquariums, uh, 20, 20 gallon longs that I've had set in there. Uh, if you remember correctly, I used to have a 29 in here, which I ended up having to move it around to the back side. Which this is still up in the air for debate whether I'm going to do this, convert this into a sump, or I'm going to use that 55 
I'm kind of thinking the 55 might be a little bit of overkill. Um, but I don't know. I'm still waiting to get some suggestions on that. So this is kind of what my fish room is looking like. I've got this row of aquariums here. Um, that's a 56 gallon. That's a 33 gallon, 75. Uh, of, this is a like a 54. Um, I don't know who makes it, but the dimensions are a little bit different because it's, it's still a four foot tall. I mean, four foot long tank but it's not as tall as your regular 55 because it's a little bit wider. It's about 16 inches wide versus your, your traditional 55, which is 48. And I believe it's like, I want to say it's 24 up and two and a half wide. Um, as you guys know, my goldfish tanks, this one is my next project. I'm in the process of getting this ready. Um, to set it up and that'll be a video that'll be coming uh, here originally I thought I was gonna put all these 10 gallons that were down there I still don't know because I want to move some of the, the livestock that I have in here uh, probably up to here and I don't know what I'm gonna do this is still fluid I don't know what's gonna happen there these 10 gallons are staying up here and that's not gonna change what's in them might um, but that's it. I just kind of wanted to do that and give you guys a little quick update as to what I got going on in here. Um, like I said, I, I got, I have a few videos that I'm still trying to work and edit to get them out. Uh, one of them is going to be on the setup of, of, um, rescaping the 20 gallon that used to hold my mud guppies and uh and i did a little twist to that that aquarium it's something that i've been doing to several of my aquariums that i've been converting over to to that type of filtration system uh, and it's inspired us by what uh, dr novak um is teaching out in his channel which was setting up plenums and when i do that video on that one you'll notice the difference as far as clarity in that tank uh, from any other tanks that i have in my fish room so uh you know wait for that to come out and uh hopefully you guys will learn something for that but that's just a little quick update i owe you guys a complete tour of all the fish that i'm keeping and, and the livestock in all of these tanks and that's coming uh, it's in the works i just wanted to make sure i organized my fish room first that i had it set up as you can see i don't have a whole lot of room that i can have access to the other part of the garage belongs to the family uh, and that being said, it's mostly my wife's Christmas stuff that she has over there. But, you know, happy wife, happy life. That's what I say. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next one.